It's wrong. It's wrong. He needs to be prosecuted. A mother is upset and has nowhere to turn tonight. She claims that her 13-year-old daughter was sexually assaulted. The alleged attack happening on a bus in Vallejo. Cronforce Scott Rates is in Vallejo. And Scott, there's a lot more to this story, correct? There certainly is, Catherine. Not only does this mother tell me that police have told her that they know who the alleged attacker is, but that they have also told her there's nothing they can do about it. All she keeps saying to me, Mama, he's too strong, I can't get him off of me. He's too strong, I can't get him off of me, Mama. Frustrated and horrified, Felicia Davis can't fight back the tears as she talks about what she says her daughter went through while riding the bus Monday afternoon. A boy approached her, sat down with her, and put his hands down her pants. She was screaming for help. The bus driver didn't help her. And Davis tells me that the alleged attack happened on a Soul Trans bus, like the bus behind me. Most of these buses are equipped with cameras on board, and Davis says police have seen video of the alleged attack, and she said they described it as being downright disturbing. The police is telling me that after they viewed the video, the predator was all over my daughter. Cronfor has learned a police report was filed. However, so far, police have not confirmed the details of Davis's account. Davis says police have made contact with an alleged suspect. They went to the predator house and they talked to him and found out that he had Down syndrome and that they will not be pressing no charges against him. Under California Penal Code Section 26, it states, quote, all persons are capable of committing crimes except those belonging to the following classes. The second line down states, persons who are mentally incapacitated. Davis says the law needs to change. That law PC 26, it shouldn't exist. Somebody needs to do something about it and they need to rewrite it because it's wrong. He just molested my daughter on the bus. She's nothing but 13 years old. He needs to be tried. And I did reach out to the district attorney as well as Vallejo police. So far, I have not gotten a response. Reporting live in Vallejo, Scott Rates, Ground 4 News.